Live pictures of the Capitol, where there is rare bipartisan agreement to end the national COVID emergency declaration. It doesn't sit very well with the White House up Pennsylvania Avenue, and it's setting up President Biden's first possible veto once Republicans take the House next year. The White House needs COVID to still be a thing, or at least an emergency. At least they lose all their emergency powers, like proxy voting in the House, Title 42 at the border, lucid health care restrictions, and most importantly for the White House, they need the COVID emergency for student debt relief. They announced it before the election, but the Supreme Court hears the case early next year. This puts President Biden in a pickle because he wants credit for ending the pandemic as well as continuing the pandemic emergency. Here he is back in September. Is the pandemic over? The pandemic is over. We still have a problem with COVID. We're still doing a lot of work on it. Uh, it's, but the pandemic is over. Chris Ahn is here, host of the Aggressive Progressive podcast. Chris, good to see you. Can Democrats have it both ways? Well, look, uh, executives never want to give up power, and it is the duty of the legislature to check the executive ambition, counteracting ambition, if you will. And no, I look, I, you can't have it both ways. If he wants the power, you got to continue the pandemic. Uh, that said, I, you know, he, he might veto it because, quite frankly, uh, he's not going to have a lot of juice with the House Republicans and might be hard to get anything done. And should there be other national emergencies, I find it hard to believe that they're going to provide the resources needed to deal with it, uh, given the makeup of that body. Well, so, no, no, uh, come on, that's not really fair. There were all sorts of bipartisan deals that went through with Democrats in the House and the Senate and Trump in the White House over COVID. Yeah, there were. Uh, I think everybody agreed there was a, uh, there was a problem then. I, I find it hard to believe that this group's going to be as giving on these issues, frankly. And remember, yeah, they where, were Democrats. Where, where, is your, where is your bah humbug? Where's your Christmas spirit, my friend? Okay, hold on. I, I want to get you on this because I feel like over the weekend you might have been watching and, and just thinking about this issue of Kirsten Cinema becoming an independent. Take a listen. I'm going to do my best for Arizona. I'm going to continue to deliver results for everyday people. Nothing's going to change for me. And I don't think anything's going to change for Arizona. I'm sure you love the music in that. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about this a lot uh -huh. this weekend. You got a few things to get off your chest? Yeah, well, uh, look, you, got, you got 90 seconds. Look, forget about my partisanship here. Politically, this was actually a very smart move on her part. She has boxed out the Arizona Democrats who were about to primary her out of existence. Now a guy like Ruben Gallego has got to go home for the holidays and say, do I want to do a suicide run and run as a Democrat in Arizona if she's running as a third party? She has basically given the Arizona Democratic Party no choice but to support her. Or you might wind up with like Senator Carrie Lake, for God's sake, in Arizona. I think it was actually a pretty smart political move. Now, it puts that your doesn't old boss say I Chuck love everything Schumer. she does. I've you, known her I, 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 I'm going to give you 30 seconds for the last word. It does put your old boss, Chuck Schumer, in a box. No, it doesn't. She is keeping her committees and caucusing with the Democrats. I, I think that, you know, we have to be able to say members need to be able to appeal to all of their constituents, not just the base. She would have lost a primary, a Democratic primary in Arizona, because the base comes out and the base doesn't like her. But I think most Democrats in Arizona do like her. They just don't vote in primaries. So this was actually a pretty smart move. Ruben Gallego is going to run run for the House. He yeah. is not going to give it up was the a, seat. Yeah, no, it was it was. It was pretty well done. You have to, you have to give points where points are due. Hey, it's good to see you, my friend. As always, we appreciate it. Uh, Chris Hahn, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Nice uh, to see we you. We had to cut this short because of the breaking news earlier with Sam Brankman. Freed, we'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.